talented man. He makes a kick-ass margarita. <laughs> uh, this is Rory. Hi. Excuse me, can I help you? No, thanks. Hey, that's my room. Okay, put my number. I'm sorry about the mix-up, my friend here. He means no harm. He just has to learn that Guinness and Blondes, they don't mix. We sincerely apologize, and we will now leave you to finish putting up the poster of Come on, follow me. this I'll really follow old me. guy. Professor Asher Fleming. What, they were out of Orlando Bloom? Professor Fleming died last week. We're throwing him awake. Okay, so were you and Fleming? No! Sorry, just, you're putting a poster of him up in your hallway. You can see where I get the impression he's a little bit more of a teacher. Well, he was more than a teacher. He was a great writer and an inspiration and many other things that you couldn't possibly understand. You don't like me. You don't know me, but you don't like me. I know you. You do. We met yesterday. With Marty? Marty? Marty, my friend Marty. He bartended for you. Yes, Marty. I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. Of course I met you yesterday with Marty. Nice to see you again. Rory! Nice to see you again. Rory, you're looking well. Angry <laughs> works for you. I'm not angry, I'm just irritated. By me? Yes. Because I forgot for a moment who you were. No, because you speak to people as if they're below you. People? Marty. Oh, your friend Marty. Yes, my friend Marty. You talked to him like he was dirt, and that's why I'm looking at you like this. I'm sorry. What did I say that was so bad? I said hello, and I think I said he made a kick-ass margarita. It's not what you said, it's how you said it. And how'd I say it? Like Judy Dench. Ouch. Just because somebody doesn't have money or a fancy family doesn't mean they're inferior to you. I agree. And just because somebody is a bartender at a party for you and your friends, it doesn't mean that you can talk to them like a servant. Well... What? I hired him, I paid him, he served, that's what a sermon does. Are you serious? For the sake of argument. He was doing a job. A job he took willingly. Some people have to work. And I bet if you ask him, he'll tell you you made excellent tips that night, because my friends, they tend to enjoy the refill. Not the point. To a bartender, tips are very much the point. Just because you pay somebody, it doesn't mean that you can speak to them as if they're beneath you. Actually, the fact that this is a free country means that I can speak to anyone in any manner which I choose. However, the rules of a civilized society may frown upon a certain obvious show of snobbery, so if that's your argument... I don't have an argument. Well, I can give you a moment to formulate one if you want to continue. I'm busy. You concede. I don't like it when people hurt my friends. And you react when goaded. I am not goaded. I am so far from goaded. Get out your compass and I will show you how far from goaded I am. I think we got a serious debater in our midst. Logan! Tell Marty I said hi, and I promise to remember you instantly next time. Now tell me that wasn't fun. Master and Commander. The movie? No, that's what I want you to call me from now on. <laughs> Better get back to work. Right, boss? Rory? Nice to see you. Hey, Hunsberger. <laughs> hey, you waiting on me? Could be. Wow, I'm flattered. You're prerogative. You're here on business or pleasure? I just thought maybe I'd give you a chance to respond to my article. What article? The article I'm doing on the Life and Death Brigade. Don't really know what you're talking about. You don't? Huh, I thought you would. It's a club, one of these super secret, super exclusive clubs here at Yale. Membership spans a thousand centuries. Secret handshakes and secret sayings and a lot of running around a circle in your underwear, that kind of thing. Sounds pretty secret. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm doing sort of an expose on this one particular club and I figured since you're in it, maybe you'd like to have your point of view included. I'm in it. Well, aren't you? I've yet to run around a circle in my underwear. Well, okay. I mean, I have proof that your grandfather was in it, which means that your father was in it, which should mean that you're in it, but maybe not. Okay. Sorry to let you down. No letdown. <laughs> it would have been nice, but I have plenty of stuff without you, and I'm sorry to have bothered you. You're playing without me, huh? Oh, yeah. I have the ball gowns, the girl in the gorilla mask, in Omni Apparatus. Very fancy catchphrase, by the way. The license plate on the black SUV, and about a dozen other little things. I mean, getting an interview with an actual member would have been great, but... I'm okay without it. Oh, great. Yep, plus I'm completely onto your routine now. Wow. Yeah, so I figure I'll just track you and you'll eventually leave me there anyway. So hey, I mean, it would be easier if you would have just talked to me now, but I can do it the other way if you want. The other way? Yes. Were you tracking me? Yes. Following my every move? Yeah. I picked that way. Okay, but... We can start right now if you want. I'm heading back to my room. I keep the window open in case you feel the need to sneak in and track me from the inside. Thanks for the info. Absolutely. And hey, Good luck with that article. Sounds like hell of a scoop.
Hey, Ace, you ready? Well... Hit it. Could we remove the blindfold now? We're also hiding our destination. It's four in the afternoon. He's got a thing about the sun. <laughs> oh, by the way, this thing's overnight. Overnight? Did I mention that before? Oh, must have slipped your mind. It doesn't screw up anything for you, does it? No. No? Nope. Hmm. Loose schedule. Good. You okay? I smell trees. Oh, nothing gets past you. So the firing squad's just up ahead? Yup, and there's a line, damn. Seriously, Logan, is the blindfold coming off or am I petty hursting it the whole trip? It's coming off, it's coming off right now. Is this what you expected? No, not at all what I expected. Let me guess what you were thinking. Sleeping bag, flashlights, keg, three boxes, stale triscuits, half-eaten bag of Oreos, some Doritos, and a bong. That may be exactly what I pictured. You can apologize later. This is yours. Mine? It's cozy. Festivity starting a half hour. How goes it, Priya? Logan? Word was a bear dragged you off. No bear. I just wanted a quiet place to collect my thoughts. You found it. Sorry you're not getting much from the group. Took a little arm twisting to get them to agree to let you come in the first place. I don't need their cooperation. I've already filled two notebooks without their cooperation. What is happening tomorrow? Is it just as big or bigger? And do people know that you're here? Park rangers or the landowner? Where are we? Are we still in Connecticut? Okay. Hmm. I think it's time to fill you in on the conditions of you being here. Okay. First, no pictures. Hey! Uh, you'll get it back at the end of the trip. Second, no names. I'm not exactly being introduced to anyone as it is. What number am I? You just did third. Fourth, no identification of our location. I don't know where we are. Fifth? You're gonna run out of it's. The most important condition of all, you must agree not to interfere with the integrity of the event. What is the event? So you agree? Yes, I agree. Well, it sounds pretty. I like it. I didn't say I didn't like it. I'll leave the light for you, Ace. I won't need it. Another day, another sartorial surprise. Start getting ready yourself. I am ready. You can't go dressed like that. Well, I didn't have the it's an overnight thing warning, so unless you want me to fashion something out of pine cones, this is it. That clothing is going to interfere with the integrity of our event, and you agreed not to interfere with the integrity of our event. All I've got is a washbowl, a towel, and a toothbrush. Is that all you got? Look again, Ace. Got your event integrity right here, mister. Yep, I got an eye for dress sizes. We go this way. Come on, hurry! You try running in a crinoline. We're late. He's using ease. Mm. You might want to cover your ears. Why? I think some groups just go bowling. <laughs> you want to interview Finn A, she better do it quick. Pull! According to my research, you guys always do one big thing at your gathering. Is this it? Does it look like it? I'm guessing no. You answered your own question. Pull! You'll know it when you see it. Good. Hope you're thinking up superlatives. What are they going to do? What do you think they're going to do? They're not going to jump. They're going to jump. I see four. I'm heading up. Oh, of course you are. And Finn was supposed to do it, but a few of us figured he'd make it this far, so there's an extra space. No. And we're not going to die. No one in the Life and Death Brigade has ever died. Look, thanks for the offer, but uh, I'm here as a journalist, an observer. George Plimpton never participated. What? He's best stuff. Put him in the thick of it. Fighting Sugar Ray Robinson, quarterbacking for the Lions, skating for the Bruins. So he participated. It'll be fun. It'll be a thrill. Something stupid, something bad for you. Just something different. Isn't this the point of being young? It's your choice, Ace. People can live 100 years without really living for a minute. You climb up here with me, it's one less minute you haven't lived. Let's go. Let's go. I am not a fan of letters. They scare the crap out of me, too. I've been higher. I'm at distance from the ground. That, too. You can back out, you know, no one's forcing you. I know. You trust me? You jump, I jump, Jack. I really should have confirmed that those potatoes were okay. <laughs> you did good, Ace. <laughs> Once in a lifetime experience. Only if you want it to be. Rory. There you are, I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm late, I'm sorry, don't be mad. Going on a year and a half. Thank you. You look cornered. I was. Well, I'm glad to be of service. And I must say, your grandmother has excellent food. Wait, my grandmother? You know, my grandparents. 
My folks are good friends with Richard and Emily. Okay, so, lesson one in coping with painfully boring parties, form a sub-party. Where are you going? Finn! Finn's here? Refill? Sure, why not? Very bad. And we're... Oh yeah, I read the article. You did? Yep, not bad. Thank you. you. Caught the spirit of the thing, I'll give you that. But you got a good style. So, who's it gonna be? What? Well, this shindig's an obvious meat market. I got the feeling that your grandparents are expecting you to choose someone tonight, so. Oh, well. Wow, a room full of guys and still extremely slim pickings. Well, I don't know. It's a pretty tough choice. Maybe I should let my boyfriend help me choose. Oh, you have a boyfriend? Do Richard and Emily know about this? Yeah, they do. They're just trying to make sure you get a backup? Uh, Dean, is this the boyfriend? Yes, he's the boyfriend. Well, we gotta see this guy. What? See who the man is who's won your heart. Gotta make sure he's good enough. But... Let's go, boys. We'll be okay. <laughs> No, it won't. Come on, Ace. Nothing ever seems quite as bad after Finn's passion of the Christ. Except Finn's passion of the Christ. Yeah. I'm sorry, excuse me. Did I just see you smell that book? They do have coffee. It's a cool scene. Make or take you. Bring a book to sniff. What are you doing in the library anyhow? Got lost. Don't tell anyone I was here. Ruined my rep. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. See you, Ace. Okay. She's with me now. I told you that. Let it go. She doesn't love you, Roy. Tell him you don't love him. Oh, don't blame me because you couldn't keep her. Oh, no, stop it! Let me get security. You are losing control. You're in a classroom. Someone's quiet. Got nothing to say. Do you get the sense that she's mad at me? I have no words. It was just a joke. Jerk, ass, arrogant, inconsiderate, mindless, frat boy, low life, butt-faced miscreant. Butt-faced miscreant. I didn't mean to upset you. I have to go. To the Froyo social. Yes, I have to go to the Froyo social. Hey, Ace. <laughs> uh, hi, Logan, I didn't see you there. Hey. I hope you're getting extra credit for this. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Um, I'm just doing a little public service, that's all. Public service? Yes. Um, so how come I never see you around? I'm around. Yeah, where? Class, the coffee cart, the student store when I run out of thumbtacks. Wow, thrilling life. I'm really not that boring. Oh, I know you're not boring. So, you want to get something to drink or do you have to go? No, I don't have to go. I don't have anywhere to go. Okay, be right back. Especially the fourth time you see it. What happens the fourth time you see it? You can actually understand what they're saying. You can borrow them if you want, but only if you promise to abide by the fourth time rule. I'll abide by your fourth time rule. If it's as good as you say, I'll raise your fifth. Deal. Oh, here, I almost forgot your notes. Oh, I hope they helped. They did. Some guy tried to mug me earlier and I beat him to death. I like your research too, and thank you. It helped? Story's done, Doyle's safe, all's right with the world. You're welcome. Have a good weekend. Oh, yeah, you too. Hey, don't be a stranger.
Hello, stranger. Hi, you're back. I just rolled in. All right, we're all going to China Palace for food. Grab your coat, let's go. Well, may I? Sure. What? Julia, just eat something. Yep. And then I will get very, very fat. You know where they have the best Chinese burger? Oh, Zugerberg. Really? Yep. Grade 7 through 12. Wow, living in Switzerland? Insane. I did a year at Andover, not bad. Logan, did I miss my family? Huh, let's see. Which mom were you on then? I believe it was the blonde. Oh, yes. She was hot. You didn't know her, Finn. Oh. Yes, perfect. Zydeco music. You'll love this place. I got you. Okay. Hey. Hey. Can I? Yeah, sure. Huh, that move always seems cooler in the movies. No, I think you maneuver your way through a window quite gracefully. <sighs> Thank you. I assume you've had practice. No, first time. I just want to make sure you got home okay. Oh, yeah, I got home okay. I don't believe I said a proper goodnight to you this evening. No, you didn't. You want to get changed into something more comfortable? More comfortable than this? Oh, I actually was hoping for some feetsy pajamas. Oh, no, you know I'm not that kind of girl. Where are you going to go? No. Well, this would definitely qualify as a cute meet if we hadn't already met. Logan! Hey, this is nice and embarrassing. We're going after the rollers a couple are heading for the bushes. No, I think I've supplied people with a sufficient amount of silly images of me for one day. Small coffee for me and put the ladies on my tab, too? No, Logan, you don't have to do that. Ace, I can't take a chance of you pulling out that purse again. Someone might get hurt. So I stopped by the paper the other day to see you. Really? And then I tried to sneak out when I realized you weren't there. But our omnipresent editor cornered me. Does Doyle ever leave that place? Unfortunately, yes. Thanks for the image. Hey, come here. What are you doing? What, what do you think I was doing? I just have to drop off a paper for my ethics class by 11.30, then I'm off. It's 11.25. So we're swimming in time. Go on. I want to see your paper. Your mind is a mysterious thing. Come on, I'm dying to know what your take on ethics is. No way, it's too dangerous. Dangerous? I saw you with your coins, plus let's remember Hemingway. How much you want to bet? All the money in my purse, plus a million dollars. Well, my spelling stinks, take my word for it. Thanks for the coffee. Anytime. Better have that million bucks ready when I get back, and I don't accept coins. Hello? We were both wrong. About? Hemingway's manuscripts were stolen in Hadley's suitcase at the Gare de Lyon. Huh. Yep, just thought you should know. We're both dumb. I guess we found each other. Guess we did. How's the outing in the woods going? It was going fine until Finn decided to go through one of his naked phases. Yikes. Yeah, suddenly the cabin seemed very small. I bet. I decided to cut my skiing trip short. Yeah? Where are you now? Yale. What? Yep. Seems like I got the whole place to myself, too. You know, it's nice like this. Very quiet, lots of privacy. It's too bad you're not here. And why is that? I just think you'd like it. Oh, really? Just a suggestion, Ace. It was not a painful play. Any play is a painful play for me. Well, that's too bad, because you're going to miss out on some wonderful things. Yeah, like what? It was the most amazing thing we ever saw. No, my mom plays canasta with him every month he's in town. Tony Kushner plays canasta with your mother? Badly, but yes. You have a magical life, Huntsberger, and you don't even know it. So where to next? How's ice cream sound? Ice cream sounds great. Then ice cream it is. Well, Logan, <laughs> where are we going? Slow down. You slow down, you die. Hey? Yeah, you go too fast in heels, then you kind of die also. The dining hall's closed. We're breaking in. Oh, that's a very negative way to look at it. I know a lot of very powerful locksmiths. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens if we get caught? Hey, relax. Look around. For tonight, this is all yours. Ace kind of cool. Wait till you see the kitchen. Just go crazy, Ace. No, we're getting ice cream. There's no rule that says you can't have ice cream and cereal. Go on, get your Cocoa Puffs. With all the money my family has donated to this school, they can afford to be out of a few Cocoa Puffs. Let's go. This is fun. You're an easy girl to please. Ace, come on. I'm coming. So. So. Did I see you on State Street with? Yeah. Right. So you saw me on State Street with? Yep. So. So. Are we still good? Absolutely. Um, are you busy or do you feel like grabbing a cup of coffee? Boy, do you have the master key to a Starbucks? Nah, I just thought we'd walk in and pay. Wow. Old school. Great, right, like the costume. I like yours too. Well, we're just heading over to the bar. Can we get you to anything? No, we're just gonna take a look around. Okay, we'll catch you later. Sounds good. Hey, Ace, having a good time? I am, thanks. Me too, I'm having a good time too.
good. Yes, it is good. Oh, right, right. Well, he must have made quite an impression. He just asked me out, is all. Sure. <laughs> He's kind of a jerk. Excuse me? Hey, come on. Where are we going? Logan! You look great. Thank you. Right, so how you been? I've been fine. Good. School's good? School's hard. Well, it's supposed to be hard. It's grooming you for life. <laughs> Making you an upstanding citizen? God-fearing Christian. A bit you a recycler. I don't like this. Like what? You're here with Robert. You're here with Whitney. I know. So what's the problem? The problem is you're here with Robert and it's bothering me, and I don't like that. It's bothering me. You're the one who said... I know what he said. Okay, then. I have to go. I have a date. Enjoy the rest of the party. Well, this is a surprise. Can I come in? Uh, sure. You want to sit down? Nope. Gotta stay vertical. What? You have, like, an octagon imprint on your face. I can't do this anymore, Logan. Do what? This casual dating thing, I don't like it. It's not who I am, and I don't want to make it who I am. Whoa, hold on here. Where's this coming from? It's coming from me, the ravishing creature standing in front of you. I didn't make you do this. I know. I don't understand. I thought everything was going so well. What are you talking about? I haven't heard from you in a week. I said everything I have to say. Which is what? I'm a girlfriend girl, Logan. I have boyfriends, not escorts. Ah. I thought it could be different, but I can't. I'm sorry. Maybe we can just go back to being friends again. Or maybe we can become boyfriend and girlfriend, right? What? I get it. I get what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. Hey, if that's what you want, then just come out and say it, okay? But you coming in here and issuing an ultimatum? I am not issuing an ultimatum. All right, fine. I'll do it. Do what? I'll be your boyfriend. You can't be my boyfriend. Why not? Because you told me that you can't be my boyfriend. If I say I can, then I can. You need to say you're unhappy with the situation, right? Right. Fine. I've rectified the situation. Problem solved. No, problem not solved. Hey, if I say I can do this, I can do this. No. Rory, do you really want to stop seeing me? No, but I can't. Because I don't want to stop seeing you. See how good this is going so far? I think I'm gonna be an excellent boyfriend. I agree. I have to say, half the fun of being with you is the horrified looks on the waiter's faces. Ooh, please, I'm an amateur compared to my mother. So let's check the paper and see if Rob Schneider's still employable. Yeah. <laughs> so good to see you. You too. Oh, sorry, God, Rory, this is my sister, Honor. Honor, Rory Gilmore. Yeah, Rory's my girlfriend. You okay over there? You need a little water or a Time machine? I'm sorry, did you say girlfriend? Yes. It's new. Listen, you do not have to take me to dinner tomorrow. It's a family thing. I totally understand. No, you should come. Now let's find that paper. <clears throat> uh, where are my keys? What do I do with my keys? You look nervous. Do I? Huh. Just not so sure what I got you into. Well, my family's not gonna take my sister's engagement too well, and they can be a little vicious when annoyed. Hey. Relax. You do not have to worry about me at all. Five years of Friday night dinners have prepared me for exactly this moment. Really? Remind me to tell you about the time my mom climbed out a second story window to get away from my grandmother. Oh, I will. Okay, ready? Ready. Remind me to tell you about the time my mother wore a shirt with a rhinestone penis on it and my grandma had her car towed. Look at the ceiling! Come on. Hurry! Everyone, I'd like you to meet Roy Gilmore. You know Roy's grandparents, Mom. They're doing very well. So, um, you were at the wedding. That she does. <laughs> hey, Grandpa, can I freshen a drink for you? Oh, Logan, I don't think oh, I should. Oh, so nice. Is that a Velasquez? Come on. It is! That's a Velasquez! This house is so cool! Only other people's boats. Our boats are very safe. We should do a summer trip. What? Mom's a stress smoker. Sure. Yes, Dad? Thank you. So we should celebrate that. I know you like to joke around and tease us. Mom, I suggest you come back in here. I mean, I'm sure Rory understands. Emily's always talking about you wanting to be a reporter. The way she wasn't bred for it. Okay, this conversation is going to end right now. And when you do, you're going to need the right kind of person at your side. Logan, you have to understand. You bring this girl home without any warning at all. Logan, come back here. I don't understand. You're psychotic. What more is there to understand? Don't try and analyze it. There's no rhyme or reason. And why are they OK with Josh? I mean, he doesn't even say anything. Josh isn't marrying the heir of the Huntsburg of Fortune. You are. I just drop you here? Drop me here? Yeah, lights are on. Paris is home. I've had about all the crazy I can for one evening. 
I'll call you later. Tomorrow? Uh, yeah, tomorrow. Hey. I'm sorry. For just taking off like that. I just... This was a very intense evening for me. I'm sure. But taking off like that, I was overreacting. That's just stupid, so... Forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. Come on, grab your coat. I'll take you to get something to eat. Okay. I'll be right back. Evening, Ace. Hey. Hello. Hello. What do you think of this dress? Does it look newspapery enough? What? I'm trying to figure out what to wear to my first day on the paper. Ah, the internship rears its ugly head again. I don't want to look like a college kid. You are a college kid. Not on Monday. A little Jesus thing going on there. Worked as a reporter and editor for two of the Huntsberger papers. Right, just like Clinton. You don't have a wall in a secret room with pictures of my father pasted all over it, do you? From foreign affairs, domestic policies. He had a wine column, for God's sake. Ace! You've learned more about my father in one day than I've learned my whole life. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Now, I thought we've established we're both starving. Yes, we have. Let's go. There's one time he wrote... Peas, Ace, peas. Oh, right, sorry. Hello? They want to have you over for dinner. Oh. So, I'm calling to warn you. I don't want any pressure put on us, and I'm sorry, and I think I already said that, and that's it. What are the odds of getting out of this? Pretty much zero. Then let's do it. Really? Yeah, it won't be so bad. Well, you are a true gentleman. Oh, my God, what was that? Carrier pigeon, poor thing, should have opened the window. Not funny. Kind of funny. Hello. Help, help, help. What's the matter, Ace? Nothing. I've just won the Spaz of the Year award. I believe it will be on the front page of the Gazette tomorrow. I'm sure it's not that bad. I was supposed to go to lunch when everybody went to lunch, so I just stood in the break room for like 45 minutes. It's the first day. It'll get better. Help. I need something to say to him other than, yes, the bleeding. Stop, thanks. Hey, I think that's pretty good. Please, give me something. Something I can use to connect with him. Ah. <sighs> He likes jazz, but not when it gets too experimental, and he hates when they quote my favorite things. Good, go on. Uh, he lets people go at 7, but he keeps going till 8.30 or 9, and he notices the people who stay. Hey? Don't worry, Ace, I'm sure you're doing fine. I just don't want your father to be disappointed in me. You know you're not obligated to be polite until we're actually inside my grandparents' house. Good. Then I'm gonna use this brief moment in time to make some disgusting noises with my armpits. Oh, would you? So, this is going to be quick and painless. Hostess gifts? Never a bad idea to bring hostess gifts. Well played, Huntsberger. She's got it monogrammed on her towels. There's nothing to worry about. We're not perfect. Right, I've got split ends like you wouldn't believe. Emily, these are for you, a small token of my gratitude. Mikel and Neat, if you have it. Grandma and Grandpa are very taken with Logan's lip. I to be aware of this kind of thing. In Rory's building? No, I'm at Berkeley. No, I'd say it's about 90 crow pogs or so. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, someone at Yale started measuring things based on the height of a kid named Crowpog. Why don't we talk about something other than Yale? We have to get a new racket, Emily. The materials available today make one of the top manufacturers of ceramic rackets. Pete Sampras loves them. I could totally set you up. It's a fine drink indeed. Roast. Sounds good. It does. <laughs> what are you doing? A little life and death brigade business. You're crazy. It's fun to be crazy. Sewing box, did you move it somewhere? To say, I almost feel like I should go. We have company and I don't want to be here for later. And you and I will have a very salad with beet dressing. Oh, wonderful. I'm starving. And just get her to relax. I relax. It's beautiful. This would be good for a wedding, don't you think? Great. And I know. I like what I've seen in pictures. God. <laughs> sure. Kid. Fortunately, we should probably be going. I have an early day tomorrow. Hey, Ace. Hey, you're early. Well, that was the first for everything. Where's the fire? I admit where you're going in such a hurry. Oh, I'm at half speed compared to this morning. We're out for five minutes, and this place becomes a dumping ground. I'm loving the totally non-generic feel of your space here. I have customized it somewhat. Centric uncle? Brian Eno. Oh, I was close, so let's go. It's 4.30. So cut out early. There's nothing going on here. We're doing our rough front page. So the people of Stanford don't get their paper tomorrow, they'll turn on the radio. I can't go. I know the boss. So do I. But I know how to work the boss at least a little. You sense it? The flurry of the fright and the shuffle of sycophants. So you treating you all right? Oh, your dad? Looking great. You sure? Yeah. Just checking. So what do you think about Friday? An excellent alternative to Thursday. My sister's engagement party? Oh, right. I'm going to try. I'm dying to see the yacht. So I'll just go hang somewhere till you're done? I'll be done 6.37 at the latest. Ace. 6.45. So maybe I'll be hanging on 2 or 5. Is that the right terminology? You're getting there. Hey, you're here early. 
I guess. Rarely. Did you skip your dinner? Autumn she's one of those fun nautical traditions. Right. Something sexist in that, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, can we just, um... What the hell's wrong with you? Nothing. I... I'm just in a weird mood. I'll say. Let's go somewhere else. I don't really feel like being around people. Okay, name it. Will your sister mind? I've been here an hour and a half. I've talked to everybody. My duty's done. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Somewhere. Far. Out there. Where? Out to sea. Out to sea? Yeah. Let's take that fancy pantsy out of yours for a spin. Tricky, since it's about to head out with all my sister's friends on it. Oh. And you know the beginning of Moby Dick when the narrator says that when he finds himself growing grim about the mouth and wanting to knock people's hats off, he takes to the sea? Yeah. Well, I feel like knocking people's hats off. So I guess we gotta take to the sea. That one looks good. Yeah? Nice and seaworthy. Not ours to take. That ever stopped you before? I think I've been a bad influence on you, Ace. Let's go, Huntsberger. Let's go. Hey. What'd he do? What? My father, what did he do? Great. I should have known something happened the way he showed up at Honor's party like that. I should have known. My mother shouldn't have said anything. She didn't say anything specific. Then what'd she say? Rory, just tell me what happened. It's stupid. I feel stupid. Rory. I overreacted. Tell me. He just doesn't think that I've got what it takes to be a journalist. He said that to you? Yeah. Just like that? Pretty much. I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. I didn't want you to take that internship. My father is a jackass. He's a bully. I'm going over there right now. Logan, no. You're my girlfriend, Rory. You should have treated you better than that. I don't want you to say anything. I have to. Logan, no. Please. I just want to forget this. Rory. Don't put me in that position. Please. I'm sure you'll give me a crappy present for my birthday. Maybe I can pick a fight with him over that. Thank you. Hey. If this relationship thing is going to work, then it goes both ways. You have to tell me why we're committing a felony before we do it. Not that that's going to stop us, but at least I'll have all the facts, OK? OK, I'm sorry. Come here. Got my last final today. I should go over my notes. OK, call me after. I will. You good? I'm good. Hey, sorry I'm late. I think vacation's coming at just the right time for her. Mm, I'm ready. Let's go. Did you get robbed? Uh... The last time you were mellow, you had 104 fever, and even then, we went bar hopping for an hour before you fainted. Men do not faint. Men pass out. Drink, dinner, movie. That's it. Fine. She's a jolly good fella. She's a jolly good fella. After the party, that is little boy. Amazing. They're actually having a loser off. Oh, look how she mocked. was apocalyptic highlights. I look like a Tim Burton character. Two more peanuts. Vaguely. Now, reigning king of the sloths. That's right, Ben here. <laughs> really? No. Now, who wants to drink? And this year, that crown will be mine. Absolutely. I wonder how beer tastes with ice cream in it. I'd give you one month. To do what? Before you're back in school, one month. I cannot believe how little faith you have in me. You love school. Not anymore. No, you love school. I saw it. It doesn't just go away. Well, I have reformed. All right, from now on, no more scheduling, no more planning. I am just going to spend my days making ice cream, beer floats, and just taking life as it comes. You'll see. New me. You say so. I do say so. <laughs> come on, come on. I love this song. We need to dance the boot for a good cause. Take her. OK, save my seat. And order me a scoop of vanilla. 